Good afternoon, everybody. It is Kimberly Christine, and I am here down at the Duluth Harbor next to the Amsoil Arena, and on this side, the uh, Great Lakes Aquarium. And you will see that amazing Duluth skyline behind me, but you're also going to see that little girl there. That is a replica of the Statue of Liberty. Now, it was dedicated to the children of Duluth in December 11th of 1976. And the sculptor is Raymond Bartholdi. Now, Raymond is a Duluth resident, and he is also a direct descendant of Frederick Bartholdi, who was the original sculptor of the Statue of Liberty. Now, uh, just a little bit of deeper history. Uh, a lot of our rich immigrants here in Duluth are all from the European countries. Lots of Scandinavians. Yeah, you betcha, right? And uh, 1869 was the year that this place boomed with all of those European immigrants coming over to work on the railroads. So they were aptly called 69ers. So uh, in Bill and Ted term, right? 69 sorry I probably didn't need to go there but anyway 1869 friends so yes so our history here is pretty amazing and uh, you really need to come down here to Duluth to get a handle of our beautiful harbor the bridge the shipping uh, the trains and our tourism is amazing as well as all the things to do outdoors. Um, that is all I have for you. And I'm going to swing around one last time here. Nice little look at that lift bridge in the back. Uh, everybody, you have a beautiful day. It's probably in the early 80s, maybe late 70s here, which is awesome. We are avoiding all of that brutal heat that the rest of the United States is in right now. Duluth is often called the air-conditioned city and you know what in the future it probably might pay off with all of the heat and the floods and all these terrible things that are going on. Anyway I don't want to depress you too much. You guys have a great afternoon and I will see you next time. Peace out and within my friends bye bye. Hey everybody there it is the William J. Irving. Uh, the entire time this boat has been docked here in our slip not once did I ever go on it. But now all my newfound love and passion for history and coming back to the roots of my city, I definitely need to tour this. So today is my day. I will try to chime in every now and again. I don't know if I'll be able to do a video on the ship, maybe. But um, otherwise than that, I will keep you guys posted on my tour. And maybe you'll get to hear a couple of ghost stories. Well, I just finished my tour on the William J. Irving. Had a great time. Got to hear a lot of really cool stories because I asked for them. So that's a tip. If you do get on there, they don't openly talk about any spooky events, but I've got a nice earful of stuff and um, they had a pretty cool gift shop as well. Uh, highly recommend taking a tour here, Canal Park down at the William J. Irving and um, you get to explore an actual ship. It's awesome. Alrighty, so my friends, that is me signing out at the end of the day. Um, peace out. And within, bye-bye.